Anyone who spent any time in a match, we've all been on the other side of a heel hook. So here we go with the ladies' gi match, Walter. Yeah, and uh, one small thing I want to call out here is that uh, Lysandra, we sound it out over the against Ray. Oh, right 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 she is a blue belt. Please welcome Lysandra Rockley oh. Rodriguez. Well, John's doing an extra job commentating. Fighting out of the blue corner, she is a blue belt representing Marcelo Garcia, Connecticut. Please welcome Camila Silva. John doing an excellent job as the MC. He doesn't roll the R's as good as you, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here we go. So yeah, but uh, like I was saying um, before we had a restart, Lysandra was able to raise over uh, $1,100, and Camila herself raised a respectable $130. And wow, these... Uh, They're going right at it. Jeez. Yeah, before I can even get the donation totals out, they are immediately going at it. <laughs> it's kind of hard to make sense of the carnage under there, but it looks like Camila just playing a little De La Hiva guard over there. You see that, that left leg hooked around. She's going to grab that lapel, try and get control. Ooh, maybe on a vicious knee in there somewhere. All right. Lysandra on top, side control. And she immediately trained. That was a beautiful mount take. Well, she got stuck in the half guard there. Let's see what sort of half guard we're going to get out of Camilla here. Right now, it looks like a very passive one. Um, Sorry, it's all, it's, it was so hard to tell for some. I wasn't sure she's like trying to undo her gi from the from this side. From it kind of looked like that for a little bit, but I wasn't really sure. It's hard to see from our vantage point, but as from where I'm sitting, it looks like Camilla's half guard is a little passive. Yeah, because I can't see if Lysandra has her head or not. Oh, Lissandra's trying to oh, trying to get that leg out, but she seems to have trapped an arm in the, in the interim. And so there's a couple of things you can do here for Lissandra. Am I saying that correct, Walter? Lissandra. Lissandra. Um, so when you're stuck, almost, she's almost stuck in a deep half right here, and like where your hips are located is is the key to defending this. So you can see Camilla's got her her left arm under, and she's grabbing the belt. Um, so what you want to do is you want to shift your weight back down towards Cam Camilla's legs. You want to want to just kind of butt scoot down. If you're up high, the top player when they're up high are in danger here. Yeah, well. This position is called the deep half. And, you know, for those of you at home who don't have a jujitsu background, they look like, okay, the person on top is, is smashing away. That's not really the case here. Camilla's got a very good deep half here. Yeah. She's looking to turn into her right now. I prefer to turn to, she's got to get her legs down a little bit lower on Lysandra's. They're up kind of high. And now she's back to, She's oh, going to come out the back yeah. door here. Let's see if she can finish up into an Adela Hiva. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of a uh, part of the scramble. just kind of ended up weird. I saw what she was going for there. You know, I, I have to say, I, uh, Camilla was passive at first, but now she's being pretty aggressive under there. I know it looks like, for those of you at home, it looks like she's getting you know, the top players in control, but it's been a back and forth, a little bit of a seesaw battle here. But Like, uh, uh, it's really hard. It's really hard for me to tell from here. Yeah, from this vantage point, somehow the matches all seem to be uh, <laughs> further away from us. In the mm. yeah, she's gonna control that rear leg. Let's see what she can do with it. Does she have an arm? I, it's like I'm not sure if she has an arm or not. Look at there that. When it's all said and done, Camilla got the sweep. That was pretty impressive. She had been setting up that deep half for a good two, three minutes down there. And let's see if she can now pass. She got the sweep. Let's see if she can secure the pass now. Ooh, perhaps into a triangle here. She snuck those legs into a triangle. And it looks pretty deep, Walter, from here. Yeah, Lysandra looks to have pretty deep, but... It's, it's, oh, and Camilla popped out of there. 
And let's see if she can pass. This match is as tight as it gets right now. We had a pass and a sub attempt, and now we had a sweep, and Camilla's looking to get the pass here. And she's gonna elevate her with this. And, ooh, is there a toe hold on the far side there? This, this is a pretty tight match so far, Walter. Yeah, face that are over. Let me know there's like 40 seconds yeah, left. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> 40 seconds left. Yeah, uh, Cam Camila's got to do something big here because... Uh, it's, you know, she did get the sweep, but she there was a pass. And this right now, that puts Lissandra in firm control if you're keeping score in your head at least. Yeah. The full mount is the most valuable position in jiu-jitsu. Yeah. yeah, definitely. If... Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, Liz just, I think Liz can ride out this top position right now until win. Well, if I was her coach, that's exactly what I'd be saying. Just, yeah, you know, just ride out this ride top out. position. And, uh, and body triangle, just a little little something extra there. She going to sneak that body triangle in, give her a little good little squeeze at the end here. And she's going to finish a bow and arrow, maybe? No. And to Camilla's credit, she wound up on top. Yeah, she did wind up on top because of the failed bow and arrow choke, but all things are on top at the end and still fighting to the very end. And there we go. There you have it. All right. All right. Well, uh, once again, great job, both ladies. Obviously, uh, Lysandra, like I said, uh, raising over $1,100 for this event. Camila raising herself $130. Both ladies put it all out there on the mat. And yeah, I give it to Liz.